in my cabin. Or excuse me, just got to my cabin here. You can see we're in the, kind of in the thick of it. And it's a cute little thing here. All right, so this is my little home. Get some lights on here. Yeah, this is cool. Huh. Wow, it kind of looks like a light you'd have on the outside of a garage. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. Over here. Now, for me, one thing I like to do is I like to check just to kind of see what uh, amenities are provided for the guests at Airbnbs. So I've got a bunch of clean dishes here, which is nice. A full, a full coffee pot, which, I mean, come on, priorities. Got stuff in there, which is good. This little oven. <laughs> tea kettle for some tea. Some tea. Got a guest book. Got the potty. I have to sit on the pot. Take a take a poop on the pot. Okay. We'll shower. And these must be my digs. Yeah. Very cozy. Very special. Very rare. Let's see if it's comfy. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, this is gonna be nice. This is gonna be nice. Yeah, I like this. Again, I don't need much. I'm not hard to impress. So, like, I don't need some five star hotel to get relaxed and enjoy myself. And it's more about the experience. And obviously, I'm not gonna be here the entire time. This is gonna mostly be for, you know, sleeping and relaxing and. Tonight will be just to kind of, you know, get my legs back underneath me after the flights and traveling and all that stuff, get some sleep and um, just kind of try to figure out some stuff about the towns and the area around here and see what kind of fun things are around to check out. So um, yeah, this will be good. I'm excited. Hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this because it's going to be a little bit of a different vlog than normal, but I always like to try to switch it up a little bit every year on my channel, do something I've never done before. And in order to find new ideas, sometimes you have to kind of put yourself in a position. Apparently my position is locking myself in a cabin in the middle of the woods. Got wits and wagers. Or if this is for one player. Nope, four players. And taboo, oh, four players. Okay, well, that's not gonna work. But at least we got that odor absorber. Wow, can you tell I'm tired? I can't even make out a clear sentence. Okay, well, I'm gonna go get my stuff, my luggage, and unpack and get this party started. So let's just jump right into it, huh? All right, kids, so now that I'm all settled in, it's time to eat. So I uh, have a grill here that's available to me. So I wanted to just come out here and grill up some burgers. So as you can see here, I got three burgers almost done. Got a nice little flame there, cooking everything up and uh, just, uh, you know, making it uh, delicious and gonna enjoy it inside my nice little cabin there and continue this little uh, journey of mine, trying to, you know, reclaim that inspiration and just find new ideas for videos. So I'll go ahead and finish these bad boys up and put those in my belly, my belly. All right, kids. So I'm going to take a little bit of time and kind of figure out what I'm gonna do over these next few days. Cause I'm gonna be up here just trying to get that inspiration and try to figure out what I'm gonna do moving forward with the channel. And I just, I was looking at these pictures here and I thought it was really cool. Cause it looks like it's uh, some historical photos from the areas here in the mountains. Uh, which I thought was really cool. Um, but uh, in regards to the town, where did I put my phone? Oh, it's literally in my pocket. <laughs> uh, with the town, 
Apparently this was a pretty historical place at one point. Uh, like they had a big circus here at some point and there's actually a really, really cool like small world moment where a town that I grew up not far from called Sac City, which currently has the world's biggest popcorn ball, actually beat out this place that I'm at right now, this town, which used to hold that record. And that was one of the craziest like full circle moments that I had when I was booking this, this cabin. And so I thought it was really cool. So I figured I'd kind of look up some things and see what else I could find in the area. See if maybe there's any other small uh, like little connections or whatever. So I was just browsing and oh, some I haven't mentioned yet. Okay, so my host uh, of the cabin mentioned that there actually used to be a school on this property. And here's, I got a picture of it. So this school, I'm sure I can see it on the camera. Uh, that school used to sit here. It's obviously it's not anymore because the place that I'm staying at now is actually in that location now, or at least it was somewhere in this area here. And she said that a lot of kids were disappearing from this school. And they really weren't sure about all the details and why, but they just know that these kids were disappearing. And she said that there was this urban legend that kind of started to rise up from that. And she said that like a whole school bus of kids just vanished. And she said, oh, you know, it's an urban legend. But okay, listen, like, not only am I an urbexer, but I'm like a researcher. I like history stuff. Like living history is amazing. Uh, okay. Uh, that was a knock on the door, I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Whew, that got my heart rate up. Hold on. Okay, uh, so yeah, um, I don't know what that was just now, but it's not like a knock on my door. There's there's no reason that anybody would be here right now. Um, I haven't even met my host. We just contacted over the app to check in, but uh, sorry, my mind is wandering at this point. Um, uh, okay, uh, yes, so I'm going to just act like that didn't happen because it, maybe if I was still a ghost hunter like I was however many years ago, um, when I was doing that like every other night, um, I would maybe look into that a little bit more. It's kind of creepy that it happened when I was talking about the stuff because I've actually talked about in other videos that when you talk about, it was actually in the video with Gert when we're at Goatman Hollow, when you talk about a, a haunted location, like things start to happen. And I don't know, maybe there's like haunted kid spirits here or something like that. But I'm, I'm not trying to find that out because homie don't play like that anymore. So I'm just gonna act like it didn't happen. I'm just gonna keep doing my thing. Uh, but yeah, I will check back in with you in a little bit once I can get my mind cleared and uh, we'll kind of figure out what uh, what's coming next here on the old uh, travel vlog. Okay. All right, we back fam. So we are coming to terms with the fact that there's a knock on the door. My mind's a lot more clear now and we're just moving on. And so I'd like to report that there have been no more knocks on this door since that moment. And there will be no more knocks on this door for the rest of this night or the rest of this trip because I said so. And the best way to Combat that is with a little bit of office, a silent door, and some keto ice cream. So let's get right to it. I'm gonna show you guys, I got this brand new flavor and brand that I've never seen here before. 
Uh, we don't have it in Iowa, but it's called NYX. I, I noticed it the last time I was here in New York visiting Seth, and I hope that it was going to be back in the air when I came back. And sure enough, here it is. It is NYX Cherry Chaka Flocka. Six carbs. It's like a cherry chocolate. Cherry flavored light ice cream. So the chocolatey flavored flakes and brownies. So that's what we're doing. I also have a pint of Rebel in there because that's my favorite. So I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna watch The Office. And then we're gonna call it a night because it's been a long day of traveling. And I'm just excited to get this trip on the road and really start to find that inspiration and just kind of see where this trip takes me. So we will see you in the morning. Okay. So I'm, I'm literally hearing like music outside. Yeah, it's still going, hold on. Okay, just quit. Uh, that was creepy. I don't know if it was the town nearby or what, but I just know it sounded like freaking carnival music. Holy frick! What on earth is that? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh!
Okay, so I'm hearing the music again, and I'm basically at the end of my rope. Turn the light on here real quick. I just, I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. Like, the fact that there's this, this door is knocking, and I'm hearing this music, and it's getting closer and closer and closer to me. And here's the thing, like, I, I try to be as real with you guys as possible, and I'm, I'm starting to feel like I'm losing my mind. And I, when I feel like that, I just, I have to be done. I have to call it quits, I have to pack up my bags, and I have to leave, because I can't do this. It's not good for me, it's not healthy for my mind, and it's just, a... I'm hearing it again. It's just getting louder. It's coming from back here. It's like right behind this window. Okay. 